Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm beyond excited for this video because it's the first thrifting video I've filmed in about like well over three months and the thrift shops have finally opened back up, the charity shops are now open and they're like slowly getting back to normality a little bit so I was very very excited to finally go thrifting, literally ask any of my friends every time they'd ask me like what's the first thing you're going to do after lockdown? Mine was charity shopping. I'm a big fan. So I was really, really happy that some of them near me were back up and open. So I went round, picked up some goodies, and I actually got a fair few items. And I've kind of done this video in reverse, I guess, in a weird way, because I went and found some items, and then I found all of these, like, thrift your Pinterest videos. I was like, that is such a good idea. And then I was looking through my Pinterest. Oh my gosh, I scrolled on my Pinterest for hours. I have this um like board called wardrobe goals and I've had it for maybe like five years now and I've scrolled all the way through it's actually ridiculous how many times I've pinned the same thing like multiple times kind of embarrassing but so many of my items were already on that list one of them wasn't I'm still gonna feature it but I'm gonna talk through my Pinterest and these items that I found how I found them and kind of like what I look out for when I'm thrifting but I'm so excited to share these items with you so let's get started so the first thing I got is actually the t-shirt that I'm wearing right now Obviously it's very simple which means that it's very easy to find in a charity shop but on my Pinterest I've really been loving like neutral tones, natural colours and like big oversized like super slouchy t-shirts. So this was actually £1.50, it's originally from Boohoo Man so I did grab it from the men's section but I'm obsessed. It's a bit more like pink toned than I probably would have gone for, I would have preferred like maybe more of a beige kind of tone but I think it looks really nice with my skin colour and it's so so soft so I'm definitely going to be wearing this a lot. I just love it because it's so simple that you can literally pair it with anything I'm currently wearing it with like straight leg jeans but I could wear it with shorts I could wear it with a skirt anything I fancied I could even like dress up to make it smarter like with some dress pants so yeah I'm really really in love with this and so happy I picked it up and I'm sure it will be the first of many and I actually picked this up at I think it's called Alex TLC um, in Forest Hill that was the charity shop I went to if you live in the area definitely check that one out because they have such good prices in there so the next thing on my Pinterest which really stuck out to me which I was kind of looking for quite frequently to be honest it was on my thrift list for a while and I called it the perfect picnic dress now I don't think this is the perfect picnic dress but it's pretty damn close it's kind of those like really romantic like well I don't know how to describe it like really romantic kind of frilly or like playful short dresses which are just like super flattering give you a really nice shape and they're like super colorful in their pattern and just very cute so I managed to find this little number which I absolutely love this is originally from Zara basic um, and it was seven pounds in the st. Christopher's charity shop in Sydenham so not too bad seven pounds I nearly left it behind because it was an extra small and it is a little snug obviously I couldn't try it on whilst I was there because the fitting rooms are closed but I'm just obsessed with this print I think it's so so pretty I think either for a wedding for a picnic for like when you're walking through the Italian streets you know just something really really pretty and I love that it's gathered in the middle because it really cinches you in and gives you that shape and I love how like short and flirty it is I think it's really really fun and it's like really pretty material I don't actually know what it is I think I checked and it said viscose but it feels really heavy like really good quality yeah apparently it's 100% viscose not really sure what that means but it feels pretty damn good and I know I'm going to be wearing this so much throughout summer and in the hotter days even just like down to the park if I'm having a little picnic down there or for a stroll next to the river I just think it's so so pretty and I'm so happy I found it the next thing I found is something I've been seeing on Pinterest so so much recently and it is the scarves that you wear as tops they're like silk scarves and on my Pinterest I pinned like green ones blue ones or like red toned ones I just wanted one which was silk like had that shiny kind of effect and just had like a fun pattern on it I really wanted it to stand out obviously something very different from what I would usually wear but I was imagining it on like holidays at the beach or when you're going to the bar or what have you getting a cocktail so I wanted it to be fun and flirty and just really cute and I managed to find it and it is this stunning blue and like I don't know what color it's almost like a neon like a neon pink but kind of like a dark neon pink and it is silk this was four pounds again from the same shop as the, the zara dress it doesn't have any labels as to where it's from or anything but i just think it's so so pretty the sun is really doing one right now but i also love it because of the pattern like going into the edges it looks so pretty as a top when it's folded over because obviously you just see like 
the little flirty bits of the blue along with the red and I think it's a really really gorgeous gorgeous colour especially when you have a tan. I cannot wait to wear this, I haven't worn it yet, obviously it's a very cloudy day so I'm stuck in England at the moment so I shan't be wearing it for a while but take me down to the beach anytime. I'll be wearing this. The next thing I found I think is a staple in any charity shop but it's one that I've actually had a hard time tracking down and it's all over my Pinterest don't get me wrong I'm a freaking huge fan of these but it is your classic slip dress. Now I can never find these because usually like all the American thrifters and stuff are like oh just look in the pajama section. Our charity shops are very small there's not usually a pajama section what there is is usually a bin of like stuff for like 50p that's just full of random silky tiny things one of which was this lovely lovely brown toned can you see me the sun is going crazy brown toned slip dress it hits perfectly it's like the perfect size it's a little bit big on the top but i kind of like it because it kind of gives you some movement because this is a size 10 and i am a size 10 so i think i should have maybe tried to see if they had one in maybe a size 12 because it would have fit my hips maybe a little bit better but it's originally from misguided and guys this was a pound from the alex tlc charity shop one freaking pound and i'm obsessed with the color it's like a really champagne brown i think with a tan it's going to look freaking stunning and i can't wear wait to wear this like out with the girls out on the town it's just so cute you can dress it up you can dress it down super super versatile and i don't actually have a slip dress like this i have little dresses but they're not like a proper slip so i'm so happy that i managed found this in this beautiful beautiful color because the ones i have pinned are all like golds or oranges or reds or browns so this fits perfectly with that and i'm so happy i managed to find one and for a pound i mean come on the next thing i was looking for is kind of hard to explain but i just wanted to uh, like really simple statement top now i know that sounds really strange but i wanted a top which could kind of be formal and I could wear to like work or like dinner with my boyfriend's parents or something or a top that I could really dress up with like some leather trousers or a leather skirt and some heels and some jewellery and wear out so I wanted one that would kind of work for both and I was looking again for those neutral tones those like browns, greens, creams, beiges all of those and I was really struggling to find something because sometimes the charity shops obviously can be hit and miss and you have to go in with kind of an open mind so the fact that I wasn't like I want a top with a tie with a bow and it needs to be brown the fact that I was kind of like I just want a statement top opened up a lot of options for me but sometimes the things in there just it's just a bit of a struggle you know so this has been a long time in the making but I think I finally found it I wore it the other day in a video with a few necklaces and I'm absolutely obsessed with it I held it up to my boyfriend he said it looked like a paper bag so brace yourself but it is this like I don't know what color I don't know what color you would call this it's like it's like a beige but a bit of a greeny beige kind of hard to explain but it's so so pretty it's obviously very simple i just really like the thicker straps and this really cute little, little like fold over detail along the top i think it makes it look really flattering obviously you've got that square neckline going and this was a pound people again i found it in one of the bins it's from image collection made in hong kong apparently and it is a size 10 never heard of the brand before but it's so so pretty it hits at the perfect length where you can tuck it in and make like a little french tuck at the front and it's really sweet or you could completely leave it untucked and it wouldn't really matter but again i just freaking love this it's so easy to dress up and dress down or like wear for casual occasions or smart occasions which i really love because it makes it a super versatile piece because what i found recently is like a lot of my cute tops are quite casual um for like summer and things and i couldn't really get away with wearing them in a more official or smarter setting i guess would be the word so i opted for this one freaking love it my new obsession probably my new favorite thing in the wardrobe and it cost me a pound which is ridiculous so yeah really really happy i found this one but again that's one thing you have to consider in charity shops is just being a little bit more open-minded rather than going with like a super super specific idea so if you can like broaden that idea as much as you can if you can just say i want a cute top and you don't even care what color or shape or anything it is you're bound to find one but obviously i was a little bit more picky than that but still managed to find this gem then the last thing that i had pinned on my pinterest board for a while but mostly just since lockdown was some really cute like sets in the sense of like loungewear sets and especially like short sets where it's just like a crop top and a pair of shorts i think that's so so sweet and something that i could imagine myself wearing again on like holiday or just like down to the park or something if i wanted to come after lockdown like it didn't have to be 
just stuck at home whereas I feel like sweatpants and things are a bit harder to style when you're going out compared to shorts and I'm so happy that I found these they're so simple which I think oh the sun just went they're so simple which I think is why I managed to find them in the charity shop but I just really wasn't expecting to find them so it was a really really cute treat when I did and it's just these white shorts they're very very basic they're quite long lined which I love because I can choose to wear them long lined or I can fold them up which is what I've been doing recently they have pockets always plus and then just a really cute drawstring because these are originally from Sainsbury's and they are in a size 12 so they are slightly too big but because of the drawstring I can tighten them as much as I like and obviously I have white crop tops coming out my ass. I have so many white crop tops so I can kind of make my own set which I really love especially because obviously white is such a simple colour I could even go and thrift a separate white top if I wanted to but they look so so good they make me look so tanned which I love and they're so freaking soft and comfortable so they're perfect for lounging around the house I can see myself wearing these many a time and I low-key feel like a little bit of a tennis player when I wear them which I really like these were £2.25 which I think is a steal obviously they're not gonna be that expensive because they're from seeing threes but they're like brand new no stain no nothing like then the last thing I have I wanted to show you but I did not exactly thrift it along with my Pinterest board it's not on my Pinterest but I'm freaking obsessed with it and I think it's charity shopping is really fun because sometimes you will find that unexpected item that unexpected gem don't get me wrong you could definitely try and find this on Pinterest and it will probably be there but it's not something that I have pinned before and I didn't want to go pinning new things because I think that kind of defeats the object so everything I've shown you the pins were already existing in my board which you would know if you followed me on there but the next thing I'm so excited for and it's just like something very different to the other things that I think you're like it is this cutie cutie little very cropped jumper from originally from Topshop and it was two pounds are you joking it is in a size eight so it's on the smaller side um but I think I can get away with it I think it fits really nicely it's super cute super like preppy in a weird way I think because of the colors and the pattern it's just like stunning it's kind of like a neon green but like not a gross neon green does that make sense and I think this is gonna look so cute come like autumn winter with like black high-waisted jeans I don't think I could wear it in summer just because it is a little bit thicker it's like a knit so I think I'd have to save it for either the colder days or the colder months but I think come dressing it with like a black skirt or like high-waisted shorts it does come up very cropped so I would have to wear something pretty high-waisted with this just because that's how I feel most comfortable but freaking obsessed with this I don't have anything this color anything in this cut anything in this pattern so yeah it was really out of my comfort zone not something I was expecting to pick up but I just saw it and I just couldn't leave it I don't know why it just spoke to me in a really special way so I'm very happy with everything I got I think everything I got came to like around 18 pounds and I got what like five or six items which how many items did I get I got seven items for 18 pounds that is not bad at all I did very very well in my opinion let me know how you think I did and whether you think the items met my Pinterest or maybe I could have tried a little bit harder but hopefully you are back to thrifting now I really would encourage you to go but it's really important to like support those charity shops that you love so much obviously it, it can be a little bit strange going in there I noticed like I had to, I was obviously wearing a mask and there were a few people in there maybe like three or four per charity shop but they were regulating that and were quite like strict about it and they had anti back in the front and everything like that so I think they are taking as many precautions as they can and obviously the fitting rooms are changed changed fitting rooms are closed so yeah they're putting all the precautions they can in place so I'd really encourage you to go even if it's just you buy one thing maybe buy a lot like me I was having a good day apparently but yeah if you have liked this video please hit the thumbs up and if you do want to see more thrifting content please do let me know because it's not something I do very often so if you do enjoy this video please let me know down below and don't forget to hit that subscribe button because I'm currently posting three videos a week so if you're bored sat at home looking for some more content to watch hit that subscribe button and hopefully I'll see you very soon Bye.